In this video, I will show you the NFC upgrade in the NAMI scooters. It applies to all the models. Everything is the same besides the dashboard, cable, and NFC here. So right now, before the scooter was turned on by this power button, it's no longer turning on. You can use the NFC to turn on the scooter, and use the NFC card to turn off the scooter. There are a total of five. These two are the mother card. There are a total of five uh, duplicate cards can be copied into the scooter, including the cell phones. And uh, the NFC power the dashboard and power all the lights and homes independently, so the dashboard is less likely to have issues. I will show you how to make the copy in this video and show you how to upgrade uh, the original NAMI Bunny to a system with uh, NFC lockers. So I'm going to show you how to use the cell phone as the NFC. There's two ways. If you press the card into the NFC for more than 10 seconds, the light will start flashing and by this moment you could uh, by this moment, the NFC is entering the learning mode for copy the card. You can place your phone into this. And for our phones, Android phones, we use this way. So I'm going to show you. Turn on your NFC in your phone. And uh, you could just link the phone into the... And the cell phone... Take the card and and the card is pretty the once the card data is start to copy to the phone and this card this phone will be considered as one of the du one of the five duplicate card. This is the Xiaomi phone, by the way. And right now, the phone is added, and you select your phone. And use the phone to power on and power off. The power button no longer works. And uh, to show you the upgrade, here is the videos. So, so the update you need a new dashboard it comes with the A in the series numbers and you have an NFC to be purchased from dealer from my side have two cards come with it and you need a main wire which have extra connector for the NFC to plug in you need a hook like this for the cables but once you open the deck Remove the form, you say scooter like this. And you remove some of the cables out. You located these two connectors for the cable on the top. And if you have trouble to disconnect them, you have to heat it a little bit. And once it's connected, you can pull the cable out. Okay, okay. You can pull the cable out one by one. There's two cable here, uh, slightly and gentle, and give a push. The cable is out from frame, and then the cable needs to be out from here. Obviously, you have to disconnect everything from the top before you do this. So you do this one by one. The hard part is not the disassemble thing. You have to trigger around the brake line in the place to remove the plug out of it. Once the cable is removed, you have to Put the new cable into the slot here. From the side, from the side, from the side. You could do it one by one as well. I'll give you one. You're in the side. 
So this is the time when the hook come to into place. So you can somehow hook the connector out. And this is you be tricky part. But it's doable. So one cable is done, then you do the same thing for the other cables. The boom And uh, once the cable is in, you passing through the cable here, and passing through the cable to the inside of the cable box. I'm not going to passing them now, just but you I think you have got the ideas. So once both of the cable are in, but the you need to connect them, make sure they are connected in the good way. They are there are there are arrows here with the connectors and uh, over the top once the new the cable is here you have to plug into the plug into the dashboard into the green connectors and also plug into the NFC connectors and once that done, you are able to open it. Can you open it? I will take it for you. The new system is lagging. And uh, then you can take a little time to assemble the dashboard and the NFC into the handlebar. And everything is done here.